Yo guys, um, sorry about that. Um, my recording has stopped, and so I'm gonna have to finish where I left off. Uh, but basically, it was uh right now. Yeah, I had to uh, basically to uh, set up a uh. Basically, it's gonna be a two match thing here. Uh, let me just put the three D on here. But yeah, it's a three part it's a two part match. Uh basically if anything I I really wasn't trying to uh, uh I don't think I like the three D on here. But it's a two match two part match here. Uh and it it was going pretty good, but I feel like during the half part, because we're getting to the point where it was Greninja versus Greninja, and it wasn't really my Greninja that was against him. But I ended up trying to f focus blasting the uh, Agent Slash, and I just realized Agent Slash is Ghost and Steel, so I won't be able to get that fighting weakness off. And then I just realized one more thing that. Agent Saz wasn't uh, levitating on the group, you know, levitating, and I feel like I could have EQ this dude, or I could have used Hidden Power Ground. I should have sent out Kakashi, and then go for Hidden Power Ground, because if I would have used Hidden Power Ground, I know I would have be able to take out the Agent Slash. So that's not what I did, and it ended up killing off my Agent Slash, and. My Greninja. So not... Well, not my Greninja. What I'm saying. So I sent out Naruto. And yet again, I feel like what I did here was kind of still a bad play. So basically, this whole match ended up being just a bad, bad play for me. Uh, But I, was, I wouldn't say it was in a good play. Because I did get some of his mods out of the way. But it still ended up being a bad play for me. And I was hoping that wasn't the case. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. I forgot to get this. <clears throat> but yeah. It's just, it was so. So very difficult. At the moment. And then. Look. My freaking Naruto dies off. And I was like, ah, Naruto, why? Why, Naruto, why? So I sent out Sasuke. And this time, it is the Greninja. Not the Ruchimaru, the, uh, <clears throat> Zorak. And I decided to go for the Grass Nut. But since it was kind of like close to a physical type move, uh, I got a drop on the lower attack because of the king shield so that kind of screwed me over a little bit with my physical ability to be able to do a little bit more work to some of his other mons so that kind of sucked uh but i did get the grass nut off again it still didn't do as much and it's not really super effective it's really not one of the still type pokemon's weaknesses so I ended up trying to go for a Hydro Pump instead and try to see if I could get some damage off a of Hydro Pump instead. And I do get a good amount. Surprisingly, I did a get good amount of Hydro Pump. So, that wasn't too bad. Uh, oh, and I'm already forgetting everything else. But he will have a video of his... His side, I will try to see if I can get a link of his video of his match on his side of the channel so you can see his match. Uh, but he will upload his side of the ch of the match as well. And like I said, it's basically a two part match here basically because I wanted he was because we were I wanted the rematch and I was like, I'm not letting this go, I need a rematch, you know. I can't, I can't accept that. So, I did really, I tried to get an Ice Beam off, and he goes for Protect, so I couldn't be able to take it out. 
But I just realized that I don't know if his uh I don't know what kind of you know uh roserade that he has here because it literally outspeeds most of my mods. And I was like, what kind of shit? Oh, sorry about my language, but like, what kind of Pokemon that can outspeed my particular Pokemon? I thought I was like super invested in speed that this thing can now speed. And it, you can see it's not Choice Scarf because it's using other moves. So I was like, huh, this is very interesting. This is very interesting for a Pokemon like this to outspeed my Pokemon. <clears throat> so I was just dealing with that. Hold on, guys, for a quick second. I'm about to mute my mic for a quick second here. I'm about to do something real quick. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, as you've seen, I sent out my Shino the Crobat to take out the Roserade with uh, Air Slash. But he sends out his um, Tritanitar to take my Crobat out with the Rock Slide. It does does effect. And says I was Choice Scarf. I mean, Choice. Choice. Um, was it Choice Scarf? Yes, I was Choice Scarf into Air Slash, so I wasn't able to do as much damage to the Tritanitar. Uh, I do send out my Zorark, the Ruchimaru, and he located, low kicks the... He basically, he low kicks it and kills it off, and that's the end of that particular match. So, I mean, I pretty much got him to like 3 and 0 oh with that. But let's go on to the other match that was even better. The rematch that was even better. Even better than the first. So, this time I actually am using my OP team. I decided to use, uh, try to send out Diglett and my tripod to Diglett. The trio, the trio. I tried to use him. He goes for Mega for his Blaziken. So he leads off with Mega Blaziken. He goes for Protect. Predictable Blaziken speed boost set, right? So I said Stealth Rocks because I, I, he probably wasn't expecting me to go f straight up into EQ it. So I didn't go straight up to EQ. I just said Stealth Rocks. Why not? He goes for the Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz does a lot. It literally almost one shots the tripod and i was like okay it's good he's weakening down a little bit more so i could actually be able to eq it that eq does take it out and it's done i pretty much did my work right there so there's nothing to do right there it's just i already set it up this is where he sends out his uh his hs class i can't i cannot use reversal so that's kind of sucks I am able to do an Earthquake to EQ it. So I could pretty much kill it with EQ. But he goes for the Sword Sense. He goes this time to Protect. So all he needs to do is just basically, uh, what was it? Shadow, Sneak, and KO my uh, tripod here. And that's what he does right here. He goes for the Shadow Sneak to... KO tripod <clears throat> oh, hit the mic where's my other shoe there we go anyway uh he does KO uh it's this fact that so I sent out Godzilla and basically it's basically what I'm about to do is basically start off an EQ there's no point of him switching it's a guaranteed you know, EQ the straight up hit. So I take out his ancient slash. Uh, this is where he sends out the Rosade. And I'm not 
too happy about the fact that he sent out Ro- Rose Raid. So I decided to switch into Alakazam and see if Alakazam can take the hit, the Professor X, and see if Professor X could take this hit that he's about to send. And it takes it, but it doesn't take it very well. So I ended up trying to use uh, Hidden Power Ice. I feel like I should have just tried to go for Hidden Power Psychic. But I didn't want to do that because I was going to know I was going to be risking the point of me hitting the uh, a Dark type or hitting Tritanitar. So Hidden Power Ice didn't even do as much that it needs to do against Tritanitar. So that's what sucks. And I feel like if I would have used Focus Blast to lend the Focus Blast, I would have... Gotten that Tritanitar out of here. And I didn't. And I missed the the Focus Blast. Killing the... Uh, killing my... Uh, basically, killing the... Killing my Alakazam by using Crunch. So, it kind of sucks there. Uh, but I do send out my Blastoids. I do not Mega Evolve my Blastoids. I do get a Scald off. Of his Rose Raid. He does have the Black Social. He's getting health back. So I decided to go ahead. Make Evolve Blastoids. And. Try to. See if. Not, not as much damage. Goes directly towards my Blastoids. So I'd be able to take. Rose Raid out. And I was able to take Rose Raid out. With a powerful. Dark Paws. Mega Launcher boost he does send out his um greninja here but i'm not gonna be able to take out his greninja is because i don't i don't think i have like enough a, a good amount of special to take it out he does set up the poison spikes to get double up on poison spikes so definitely saw my pokemon get get poisoned i wanted to rapid spin here but I decided to not Rapid Spin. I just wanted to take out the Greninja. I didn't want to Rapid Spin. The Rapid Spin wasn't going to do as much. And I just like... I, I was going to try to Rapid Spin for the next turn. But since he had uh, Dragon Knight out. And I was already weak. He decided to go for Dragon Claw. To take out the Mega Blastoids here. My Le- Leonar- Leonardo. And it kind of sucks there. But it is what it is. So, I sent out the Joker, the Gengar, and what I did here was try to get will o up so I could be able to, uh, what was it, to, uh, to get a good decent attack and then try to hex it. But, I was not expecting him to Dragon Dance. Now, this is where I should have gone for the Taunt. If I would have went for the taunt from the first hand and wasn't expecting the whole dragon dance boost here, I could have protected myself from a dragon sweep, a dragon boost sweep. So I end up do getting the hacks off. The hacks does kill off the dragon knight for it did anything worse to me. So that was good. Now I couldn't do anything to uh, Tritanitar here. Because it does kind of... I don't think it does outspeed me. I, it doesn't outspeed me. But I went for the ton just in case it might do something kind of unexpected towards me. But it didn't happen. He goes for the crutch and takes out Joker. So now it's the battle of Tritanitar and Tritanitar. So what I did here... Was to go for EQ because that's the only way I could beat his Tritanitar right now is EQ. He's at half health. That shit one shot it and KO it. It did not. He had more defense boost. Uh, defense. I guess he had more defense that my EQ couldn't take out. And he low kicks me one shotting my Tritanitar. So that kind of sucks. So I decided we're down to our last two mons, our last one, you know, our last mons here. And 
since I had Caesar at, in the back, all I had to do was basically bullet punch and taking out his Tritonator since his Tritonator was literally at health life. So, if you guys enjoyed the first match, enjoyed the second part of this match, this two part match here. Basically, as you can see on the title, is basically Poketour Battle versus, uh, basically me versus the Swaggy, uh, Swaggy Swaylo in a f match and a rematch of the first match. So, part two and part one. Basically, it's going to be a part two, part one. So, it's going to be titled as... Basically, uh, you'll see it when it's uploaded. <laughs> I'll, it's basically explanatory right there. But if you guys enjoy this Squirtle Shader Crew, the Squirtle Shader Crew, if you enjoy this, please comment, share, skull bash that like button, put your Squirtle Shades on, and stay awesome, guys. Bye.